Got F6 coming. That bishop ran out of squares. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that is very clever. And that's just winning the game. Yeah. You, you, you but watch, teams. watch Fortnite. Okay, he's down on time. And Max seems thinking, if I, play, if I take on G4, White will play F5 and sack two pawns to get the bishop out. But yep. Then... Fortnite's going to be very resistant here. A queen takes F5 is nice. Look at the patience by Max. Right. He's not. He only wants to win the piece back. Yep. After depriving White of counterplay. Very, very nice. Creative defense um, from and Maxine now, there. now there's nothing. Queen e4 is coming. The f file, the rook comes to f3, mm -hmm. or worse. This very good game four. right here by Maxime right now. And we are back, getting set to see the last semifinal of the day happen here between Maxime Vachelagrav and Alexander Bordnik, who once again has uh, not had the ability to join us via our, our video conference and, and be with us on sound. So in, in the interest of fairness, we're not going to ask Maxime Vachelagrav to do it either. And perhaps that'll help the connection there from the Bundesliga Hotel. Uh, wrestling for the Wi-Fi might be a little easier. So, all right. In this matchup, I think we are going to be in for a wild one. We have seen Bortnik's swindling skills. As uh, you've seen the, the emote I've created, Bortnik strong. Bortnik strong, right? He's, he yeah. almost deserves his own chess bra emote, man. No, for sure. No, I, yeah. he's, he's, I still made it him yesterday, Danny. Dude, so I, I've been there. Let's, you should recruit him on the team next year because then we can have a Bortnik strong emote <laughs> for the chess bra team. We gotta get people to move to Canada. That's the issue. Uh, well, yeah, we that's have a true. team like forty foreigners, and we don't... <laughs> right. you guys are oh, rocking too many free agents. Like, <laughs> match. all yeah. right. Well, we're gonna have a lot of fun here. To all five thousand of you that are with us, we know uh, some of you have been here all day. You are my favorite people, and we are about to start the last semifinal before we move on to the championship and consolation match tomorrow. Um, with me here, Grandmaster Eric Hansen. This is the Chess.com Bullet Chess Championship. 
Lots of interesting debate going on as to whether anybody, including Magnus Carlsen, could hold their own with Hikaru in 1-0, but who knows, maybe we'll find out someday. Right now, the discussion is whether Maxime vacher Le Grave can stop the Bortnik train, and guess what? It's trucking. Let's do it. Here we go. Yeah. All right, Eric. I'm pumped. R- fresh blood here. So what's any any predictions there, Danny, or just... I, I predicted I was... Grishuk to beat Bortnik, and, and frankly, I think that was the right choice, okay. but, but Bortnik was consistently uh trickier and um and faster and so um i'm gonna pick maxime because i believe he's just in another class in terms of bortnik in terms of chess and i think he's going to be a little bit faster than grishik was under time pressure i was going to go the other way around uh played nbl a little bit recently although mainly he's been on the touchpad but i think bortnik's been uh practicing a lot more uh because uh nbl's got all these serious tournaments and and you know his times divided a little bit i think i think in the end the tricks the time scrambles that's going to be the difference maker okay well that's awesome i love when we have dissension like we both have a different pick here so all right um i think uh we've got a game to look at here so what do we got here this is sort of uh unique not exactly the the opening repertoire we saw maxime displaying against ponza Maxime and here he's up, he's kind of uh, worse. I actually really like Bortnik finishing up, his play. He's up 18, 16 seconds, which is like opposite ah. of his teammate. I uh, didn't look at the clock. I like Black, but you're right on the clock. Well, I don't know how that, that's way too much of a deficit. And uh, Black's position is Queen D3, Knight C4, faster. Okay. So you're playing as Bortnik, and, and, and he is a very fast um, time scramble player. He has enough yep. time to win this game, but it's got to be now. Okay. Bishop takes. F6, that's he's a free just pawn. Take it. So MBL is going all out here. Uh oh, knight e3 is coming though. Knight e4 is Uh-oh. a reverse. Uh, he swindles this, it. You got rook here and, and rook e1, and that trades everything. The problem off. is f5. Can he pre-move? Yeah, he can pre-move. This is he can pre-move it out. Bordnik's gonna win. Whoa! But what's going on? What's he doing? Danny, I think like that doesn't make what's going like. I don't know what he was thinking about there, and he doesn't have any he connection wasn't... problems. If anybody does, it's MBL. Whoa! Only one second. He gets it. He has this win. Now he can pre-move it out. Yep. He'll Nicely lose a point second, morning. but it'll be enough no matter what. Nicely played. Nicely played. No, I mean, MVL um, had just such an awful opening. But Bortnik, Bortnik um, you know, he's very fast in, in those yep. time scrambles. So he's someone who I would expect to have worse positions, Danny, but to be very good later in the game. And yep. that, that, that time was a little different. He just had a, had a commanding position. No, you're right. It was a it was a really poor and kind of surprising opening choice by Maxime, to be honest. So, um, it, it, to me, if Maxime converts his positions, he is a favorite today. And if, if he's doing well in the conversion, like in the in the end game pre moves mating, because he, he he's going to get good positions. Um, Bornick Bornick doesn't even mind bad positions. He plays some slightly right. dubious openings, but that's always been he's played he's always done that, and he's just been incredibly resourceful. Okay, well here uh, we got equal material, just a difference in terms of pawn structure. Ooh, Ooh Bordnik finds a tactic. Nice, nice tactic that doesn't work. Doesn't work. Nine eight five instantly. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. But, but look at how quickly Bordnik found. Right, a resourceful way to keep the game going. Yes, that, that nope. was that was quick. Note everybody, rookie eight would have failed tonight. Takes g six check. So as Eric said, it's not even that he's got a bad position; it's that he's resourceful. He's got a he's got a bit of Nakamura in him, right? A bit of resourcefulness there, even when he makes mistakes. Yeah, yeah, you could say it's a bit of Naka. Yeah, it's a, it's a good trait for, yep. for for bullet chess. Okay, well, Maxime should be better here, but at this point, uh, yeah, Ma- I wouldn't put anything is, past this. Is this one, Queen C5. Oh, and he blundered the bishop. Oh, Maxime is blundering this one away, despite a huge edge on the clock. Now, now he's not even better. Now the knight's going to go to e3. He's going to play h5. Yep. Soon. He'll put the rook on g4. He's, Ooh, pre-moving. I thought he would play He's already g4. pre-moving. He's very, he knows what he has to do. I mean, Bornick is a yep. veteran bullet player. Oh, okay. MVL can be really, really good, but it just depends if he's he's, he's fresh. He, and, you're uh, right, though. I like that you said he's just pre-moving because he knows that's what he, he knows, has to he do. He knows. He knows. You just have yep. to. Uh, yep. And he's catching up on time. And there it is. Game over. Bornick's going to take a 2 0 lead. No, this is, this is the sort of. This is why you picked him. Okay, now I'm looking like a fool. I mean, I'm, I'm going to stand by Maxime to yeah. win this match, I think. But right now, um, I also felt because of the longer time, we've often said with more time, the stronger player has more time to kind of show themselves. But at if this point, Bortnik is... even or in a lot of areas, but... Yeah. 
but like there's a there's a real big difference in the time scrambles and and maybe mouse speed um yeah queen a4 check 95 okay 95 so again some, some should here. be good here should be good but if black stabilizes um like Bornick will sometimes get lost positions from the opening i i was doing pretty well against him yesterday and um but so far he's had very decent positions even if you're down a pawn here you got the bishop pair yeah and it's not the end of the world i mean i'm not saying it's good but you can okay, work. maxime needs to run the a pawn and get some pre moves yes, in run the a pawn get some pre moves yeah be decisive okay, 94 oh now b2 I feel like the longer this position remains even even a little bit murky, the better for Bortnik, right? Uh, yeah, although Bortnik is burning time. He's he's really good in the time scrambles, but he's not the fastest, like, middle game player. Right. Which is right. why we've seen sometimes he's been down on the clock, but he will finish. He will finish. If he has uh, two seconds and a queen, he'll find the mate. All right, well, Maxime is uh, trying to do work here. Trades. Those two B4, bishops are so annoying. You can trade and play bishop b6. That would be in game over on the spot. This is still winning. Okay. This the is, b pawn. Like yeah, he's strong. up on. Okay, nope. he didn't have to give all those pawns up, but on his way to winning. Uh, well, I. <laughs> I, I think so, but look at the time, right? I yeah, mean. Yes. It's certainly not the, the prettiest way to do it. And he's, yeah. And he's up bishop e4. Okay. Yeah. He, he does find a way to get bishop get the D5? extra piece advantage. I would have played bishop d5 and say, hey, look, look, here second. come the pre moves. Here comes He's the pre moves. Watch a, this. No, keep going. Second. No, but keep going. Oh, he forked him. Yeah. But he got his knight trapped. But the, Holy it's shenanigans. Winning, it's a winning end game if you were to try to trap the knight. Okay. So, still, Maxime has to win this time scramble. Yep. He hasn't won one yet. time. He's up at night. There's no excuse. But look at that. One second. Okay, he finally swindled him out of a pre-move. Really slowly. Up uh, or did he? Yeah. Yes, he did. No, that's wow. that's the second time Bordnick has lost a couple seconds in a pre-move position. Yeah. Which is a little. But I, but I think it's because he had a pre-move that maybe uh, was illegal. Maybe maybe that's what it is. Yeah, that was my that was my thought. All right. Well. All right. Maxime strikes back. We have a two-one. We have a two-one match. Not going anywhere. Right. If you're with us, thanks for being here. It is the Chess.com Bullet Chess Championship. Uh, people in the Chess TV chat, Twitch.tv/slash Chess, give us a follow button. The championship is tomorrow. The winner of this match will meet Hikaru Nakamura in the finals. Yeah. So here we go. Um, MVL down seven seconds, and he's got a passive position. That knight might go to C1 and then D3, mm -hmm. and then maybe E5 um, later on. Okay, Good move. Knight wants C4. Okay. Oh, F3 is just falling. I think F3 could have just been taken there. Yeah. It, yeah. It this could have. The knight was guarding. He said. Comfortable end game for MVL because he can cover his weaknesses and then hammer. He's got the C5 break and also just pressure on on F4. Yeah. So this is, this is a position that uh, Maxime can can definitely push and catch up on time, which he is. Um, but yeah, okay, we expect gonna, this to be very. He's going to flip everything to the queen side now. Ooh. Is that rook going back to f8? King b3, knight c3, rook, rook here. Okay, rook a2. No, okay, he's just going, going aggressive. No problem with that. I'm looking to sacrifice on d5, Danny. Yeah, I agree. I was just going to say that could be the key thing that Bordnik finds. Right now, MVL is going to torture him with some knight checks. Time is still even. Ooh, but knight a3, this... knight b5, though. Okay, I thought you could even play knight three, knight b5 check, but this also works for Maxime. Isn't his knight trapped? Okay, but if he has to do this, no, yeah, no, but if he has this f5, and rook c4 check also coming. But bishop feels like black, um, white's white's a bit better here. But rook e5, and everything's covered. Oh, and look, oh, but he's got no. check and rook g2. He could give up the exchange at the end. Why did Instead Maxime do piece. that? He didn't need to. Yeah, I, I think he should have gone for the other line. Now, what's what's the time? The time we're gonna have a time scramble. Yep. This is such a different look compared to our previous match, where yep. they're always going into these 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 time scrambles. Rook check. Okay. King f4. Maxime is he, hoping to not get mated with the last few seconds. Yeah, ha and Bordic only has three. Yeah. King f4. King f4. King f4. And he's got it. Oh, he gave the check too early. Oh. King f4 would have had it for Bordic. But who's gonna swindle the other person with a pre-move? He does it. 
That that's a good one for MVL, but, but oh my for gosh. some reason Bortnik has stalled three times now. Is it that he's missing a premium of Danny because it's not connection issues. He actually has a much more stable but connection than next team, so he's either hesitating. He he has these, yeah. He's pre moving, and then all of a sudden there's a stall. That's yeah, I agree. It's like he, either he's pre. The reason that can happen sometimes, everybody, if you pre move an illegal move, obviously, you know, it bounces back the pre move, so you lose even extra time, which is the only reason some players and time scrambles will try to avoid pre moving to not get that sort of breaking of the system. Um. But wow, this has been really great. Maxime strikes back with two wins in a row, and we are dead even here with about 19 minutes to go. Yep. Here we go. No, oh, so far, so far, very even. Um, I feel like Bortnik could improve on what he's doing right now. Uh, but, but in terms of positions, you know, they're both getting some positions. So Bortnik's doing better there than I thought. He's yeah. not like lost, and he's just like, you know what I mean, being really resourceful. He's he's pushing. In a lot of these G3, King G2, Rook H1. Okay, F4, Knight E4. This this looks very bad for MVL, Danny. Yeah, this this bad. Knight E4, Knight E4. If G4, oh then G3, F4. it hurts. Knight H2, Queen takes F4. You wish there was some sort of mate on the H file, yeah. but no. Knight D2, Knight D2, and Rook G1. Knight D2, Rook G1. And that wins because you have Knight F3 check at the end of the oh, game. Oh, Knight F3 check in the Queen yeah. falls the fork emote. Shout out to everyone that's with us there. Uh, I don't need to change my shirt, GM2003. I have five of these polos. So I, every time you th see me and think, oh, he doesn't do laundry, I actually just rotate them in and out. It's like a bat cave in here. I got lots of costumes. Rook C8. I'm just trying to get everything off. Not the most ambitious opening for, for White. Okay, he's yep. rook lifting, so that, that's something. Bishop takes H6. He's going to think about Oh, he should have done it. He's going to think about that again. He wants to maybe bring another rook in before pursuing that. Knight E5, Knight E4. Yep. So you lose your opportunity. Now, now, now Knight E4. Now Maxime is just fine, right. I think. Right. National Master Zet not. The reason is that the half an hour segment will give a small break to the players, and then we have another half an hour afterwards. That's why the F5, clock says 18. And... Oh, I like Maxime. We'll take and play D4. Yeah, he's going to see it. D4 yep. here. And then now it. Black's looking looking great. Queen D5 maybe that's still pinned. I'm trying to find nice something. Find. Queen D5, let's do. Pin on C3. You can't yeah. take twice, everybody. Maybe I'll actually take on E2 in the end. But... Ooh, he goes for something even different because F2's falling. Yeah, I think he has Queen H5 and some ideas of Knight takes F2. Is that what he? Yeah, yeah. Knight takes yep, F2. He's got it. And H2 is going to hang. There might be a rook H4. Okay, rook H4. There was queen. I, I, I didn't calculate it out, but Maxime queen up H2. three seconds, but also has an attack. This is a defendable position for Bortnik, though. It is because there's no other pieces. White. I mean, Black's only checking with a queen. You definitely yep. can't mate two rooks, bishop, queen, and king with just a lone queen. And that's starting to make me think that. Uh, I was going to say now. White's now who's going to get the attack? Maybe exactly, White. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No, uh, the piece should be favored here, Danny, for sure. Queen to f3. You've got h6 as a target, but he's going to use the d file. I like that. He's putting the pawns on dark squares so the queen and the other pieces can access these light squares. Oh, I thought he would put rook seven. seven first. H5. H4. Yeah. Oh, that oh, just hangs a pawn. Gives up f4. That was a blunder. That's a terrible blunder. Yeah, that throws that's, that's going to be away. a game changer right there. That throws everything away. Yep. You should... This should be three or uh, that's Only nine right. seconds for mm -hmm. Bortnik, but should be plenty of time to win and maybe King H4, Bishop F4. No, this is this is going towards uh, yep. Bortnik. And Rook G5, followed by everybody falling. Yeah. Okay, but if you go back, you're playing tickle with the pre move, and you know huh, that's how accidents happen. Don't play tickle with a pre move, right? Um, we uh, we know that about that one. Um. The uh, all right. Well, the chat is with us. They are lit. That's awesome, Harshu Twenty Seven. If you meet us at the Pro Chess League Finals, maybe you can play an Eric Simel if you're coming to San Francisco May Fourth and Fifth. Mm -hmm. All right, but look at that. Bordnick returns the favor, dude. We've had. If you're just getting here, everybody, it was two wins by Bordnick, two wins by MVL, two wins by Bordnick. So a game of mini runs right now. Well, right now, if you're an MVL fan, you're you're not too happy with with what's going on because yeah, you'd expect better positions based on maybe the. Uh, strength or you know general general level of you know Maxime as a top player in the world that uh, he's not going to be the fastest guy he doesn't play bullet as much as he used to and so the mouse speed and time scrambles aren't going to favor him he might hold his own but in getting good positions and converting you want to see more 
All right, the rook comes to d1, but again, okay, this feels like one that uh, MBL is going to... Green position is up like 13 seconds. Yeah. Um, black is really disorganized, lacks some space, coordination. I mean, the this d6 is, This is an MBL great. recovery game. Yes. There's some tactics going around. Oh, d7. Knight takes c5, and d4. You don't want yeah, to turn. bring the knight to d4, or oh, h4. Yeah. Either way, you had well, to have Bishop c was played quickly. See, Bornick plays... He's slow, and then all of a sudden he's like super fast. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna start at some point. All of a sudden, the engine's gonna start running. Yeah. It's gonna happen. I just don't know when, but you, you sense it. Um, but yeah, it is the locomotive starts going. Thank you, Distant Fire, for the gifted subs while you're tuning in today. Appreciate you. MBL does have a winning position here, and he's up on time, so there's really no excuse. Ooh, the knight's falling with check. Yeah, if and queen takes e5. Queen takes e5. Danny rook takes g2. King, and look at how oh, quickly king no, b7. And no now mate. here comes the king. Wins to a6. <laughs> There's no mate? There may be a draw with rook g1 and a I perpetual. I don't know if I see a mate, Danny. Because if the king goes to c2, I cover all the checks. Forcing the queens off the board. King b4, king a3, pre-moved. What? Oh, yeah, you had to pre-move it. Ah, but he oh. got him in a pre-move there, yeah. and MVL's up on time. But that was too, too slow by Bornick in the, in the early, um, early middle game late opening. Yeah. But you Meaning saw that he almost escaped. His time. If the time right. was even... Now we're talking about a different story. So what now. is that? I mean, because sometimes, like, players, what is the balance between playing too quickly and then also trying to play too I, good at chess? I don't know, because he, he didn't have a good position. He wasn't, he's certainly not playing too good. Right. So was, <laughs> he's not playing the perfectionist moves. But that was way too slow in the middle of the game. I don't know why. Because he clearly yeah. has no issue sometimes just playing Blitzing back. Out, moves, uh, yeah, it's just... just needing to, to make a move for the sake of moving. No, but we've seen him do that all week. I just deceptively almost lulling his opponents into mutual time scrambles, and then he's just faster and trickier than almost everybody he's played um, over the last few days. So, yeah. Um, all right. Well, here he's got a good position, and there's a knight coming to e6. Yeah. Watch I mean, out. If if Black closes the position down, I think 96 95 is the next continuation. 96 okay. right now, 95. Oh, he uh, goes for it. Because because if Black can close it down, MBL is doing doing well. Yeah. This is a very solid pawn structure. And he's up but four seconds still. And, 95, and it's going to be hard to win the e6 pawn in the clean way. At g5 now. g5 is going to force open files. Okay. White, yeah, white gets to force open the file. So that's compensation. And even if you're up a pawn, it's not easy to push these pawns or make it felt with... with uh, wow, Maxime oh, is just pieces. opening up the board. It feels super risky. Look at that. I, Queen yeah, g5 I'm check not, and then I'm h5 or h5 first. I'm not a fan. But if, Yeah, if, I, don't, I don't think Maxime lives to, uh, to talk about this one. Big c5 is coming. It's just uh, crazy. That's that's resourceful. I don't see Queen F5, queen F5. King G7. Just Rook G1 and Knight takes D5. Okay, good enough. Queen check. Okay, Knight takes D5. You win the material oh, wow. back. You got to hand it to Maxime that he didn't lose. Oh, sure. Rook takes G6 doesn't work. You can take with no. the King. So you're down two pawns here, but you're but up, he's up five seconds. seconds. But King here, Knight F4. We need to see yeah A6, and actually you can keep pushing. Oh, that's yeah, bad by Max. His back. last few moves were terrible. Because he made it way too easy. The king had to apologize for coming to the e-file. <laughs> that was way too easy. Oh, and now it's game over. Yep. No, but Maxime made it too easy for poor Nick, right? To get that yep. pawn down the board. There's no resistance. Yep. No resistance. And, I, and he is going to win this one. He's going to play it out in case he gets a magical stalemate. But okay. He does not. Bornick yeah. gives up the C2 pawn. He's a pro. Makes very, sure the king very, has moves. Yeah. The resistance wasn't there. No, but you're right. That was enough of a time lead that Maxime, you would think, could have swindled something better there. Yeah. Maybe try to catch a pre-move. Yeah. Bornick's a little unpredictable there. Yeah. But still, showing a nice uh, final lap. Okay. Well, we've got a two-game lead once again for Bornick. These guys are, are trading. Trading counter punches. Pretty pretty solid position. I mean, someone might consider putting a rook on d5 or d4. That might be uh, a battle. Uh, also, the dark squares with h6 and bishop g5 looks attractive mm -hmm. at some point. But I wouldn't be surprised to see like a rook go to d4 because white's dark squares are so weak. And he plays rook d5. Yeah, to he does the that. same thing. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. That's that's what the battle rolls around. Bishop f1. Don't trade because um, you know you want you want to take with a c pawn pressure c5 and a6. And also your knight's going to go to b2 and c4 later on in the game. First stabilize on the king set, king h2, g3, bishop takes c5, not right now, but later on. And, uh, oh, that's still, knight e6 is technically playable. 
What is Bornick thinking about? Is this? Yeah, I think he missed that. I think he just missed it. Okay, well that's a huge, huge. That's a huge blunder. Now, agreed. Yeah. Now just bishop c5 and b3. Uh, two pieces for the rook and. Just, but it's uh, a very, very good two pieces. Yeah, the two, the best two, the bishops. <laughs> uh, okay, so assuming just, Maxime doesn't blunder, this is going to be back to a one-game lead. Yep. Yeah. Take, take the pawn. Bishop d4. Rook g1. Okay, he's worried about queen g3 check, I think. Yeah. But now, now you can do it. And yeah, this is this is going to be a recovery game for MVL, but yep. um, Bornick had chances. The bishop guards d2. Very nice. He'll come to c3. Force the rook to defend. Yeah, okay, one or... thing I, I like that I'm seeing from MVL, Danny's up on time yep. consistently in all these Villa games. Um, and that's... I didn't necessarily expect that. He has games um, like this now where he's up on the clock and up on the board and you feel like, wow, like this is Maxime showing his class, but hasn't been able to put, you know, two or even three games good in a row together. And there we have that stall, some connection issues it looked like in that one. But here, you see uh -huh. Bornick. That, that may cost Maxime the game. But he's very accurate in these pre-moves. He, he, he's completely lost, but like he, he's... he's one of Only the four seconds. He's got a check. Maxime finds the check just in time. Queen oh, Queen H4's mate, and Very it nice. sees it. Now, that was such a winning position for Maxime. He's up on time or even and up too much material. But you yeah, saw if you how lose like, that game, that's a backbreaker. Bornick made that. He just pre moved like 20 moves in a row and almost caught up. Scary. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a key for his success is winning those. And for MVL, it's, it's converting. And, and that, we're going to see more of that as we, as we get deeper in the match. But very competitive as predicted by wow, this, everyone, I think. This got weird real fast. Kind of a typical Verisoft, though, I, uh, for everybody watching. This isn't necessarily that bad for white. Ooh, in fact, that queen may get itself in trouble. Mm, queen F. Okay, queen F2, knight C6. He's saying it's really hard to trap me there. Ooh, now right. you have rook takes F4. That was a bad move by Bordening. He should have yeah. played C3. King H7 or King H8. Yeah. I never know. Uh, King C1, rookie four. Maybe I have to watch yeah. out. Rookie four is uh, coming anyway. Yeah, but but I can take. Ah. Now there's check, a queen G3 now there's, check. Black has at least a draw. King F1. Is he going to play King F1 or King D2? Yeah, I wasn't sure which one. I think one. he'll take the draw. It seems. Actually, yeah, you have to you have to do that. You can't play King F1 because of Queen F3 check. Yeah, yeah, okay. Then the rook falls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it'll be, it'll be a peaceful result. The the exciting way. Almost, almost a, a mating net. And it's unfortunate for MVL. He had to take that draw, Danny, because um, yep. his work was trapped where pieces were hanging. But he was up 12 seconds. Big, big, yep. big middle game leads over here. Yeah, that was not a happy, a happy draw. Yeah, you're right. All right, well, a one game lead still for Bortnik. Stay with us here, everybody. The winner of this match gets into the championship against Akara Nakamura, and. Uh, this one's going to come down to the wire. I got a feeling. This is this is not going to be what we just saw Hikaru Nakamura do to Levon Aroni, and this will be a close match all the way. All right. So, Maxime up huge on this one, both both on the board and on the clock here, Eric. So, again, I, I feel like we've... I don't know how that for, keeps happening. But like, like, the positions are positions actually. that require you to think that much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, especially because Bornick obviously uh, is... We're going to have another, another draw... <laughs> I think we might. Pretty funny. Okay, well, uh, that Another was just a... for MVL not to be happy. Yeah, again, he was up 13 seconds, as you said. He uh, didn't really need to take C7. So, again, Maxime letting a few games slip. And we have not... We've seen Bortnick win a couple in a row. I don't think we've seen Maxime... Okay, he did win two in a row earlier, but we really haven't... Other than that early start, we have not seen Maxime put together two good games in a row yet. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Bortnick will maximize his chances. Like, he's always been just very, very resourceful there. But MVL, good positions, playing fast. Right now, it's looking like it, the games are his to lose. Yep. King H8. Got King you. H8. That's just uh, automatic. Only move. Not sure what he... Ooh, no. He decides to go for the oh, piece. Uh, okay. That's that's very concrete. That 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 works. Very concrete. Super risky, though, I just right? About it. It's super risky. Because now knight g5 threatens the other knight. Knight g5 and knight e4. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yep. I thought king h8 was natural, but mvl is a very, well, very strong. Uh, You'd love to do the rook lift, but the queen spies the f4. I wouldn't square. do this. Seeing this resolving position, I'd be afraid. I'm a bit of a chicken. But uh, yeah. mvl is making an argument that he can hold on to everything. And right now, the knights do defend each other. You might be right. 
I don't know. I'm with you. <laughs> I like to attack. I don't. Like I don't like to get attacked. Attack. White has a long-term attack, right? Yeah. Rook three is coming soon. Oh, it's game. Uh, oh, knight takes h7. Rook g rook three also. Could, this was this was a big attack. Like yeah, that was this a bad was choice just... by MBL. He provoked. Ch chicken or not, you were right on that one, dude. Provoked and I'm gonna to tell you. Good moves. Yeah. yeah. Again, Maxime struggling to put together some some games back to back, struggling to find momentum, and uh, hand it to Bortnik, who just keeps creating problems for the Frenchman. You gotta like you gotta like his chances. When he gets right a now. chance, he takes advantage of it, and uh, he knows. I mean, remember we did a vote earlier in the show, everybody, and eighty two percent of you in the Twitch chat said you pick Bortnik to win this match, and right now Twitch chat is looking right. Who who knew? That's a bad day when Twitch chat is right. I know. That's, that's is that all, like the apocalypse is tomorrow? Is that's a that's a bad omen. It's a bad omen. <laughs> this is a really good opening for MVL. I think if you can kick out the knight from e4, just long term prospects against the b5 pawn. Yeah. Uh, c5 squares. I mean, black black seems solid. I just feel yeah, I, might, I might be overestimating knight d6, knight c4. But he's up no, on time I, again. I, I like. I, yeah, you can never play b3 without c3. Right, 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 right. So you have to time it. Yeah, maybe maybe black's also okay, but then the time is just the main factor. Watch out Four. for rookie one. Ooh, now oh, b3 three. comes. Yep. Knight, knight, queen e5. Ooh, knight takes e6. What? That's a blunder. Yeah, it's just, yeah. I mean, I, I don't just, know if it's even good, but he did uh, it. It's, it's, it's not good. So he thought he was winning the knight and just missed yes. knight f7, you think? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Four nick. Coming with his king h3. Okay, the trade. I think you have to go into the end game because it is only two pieces for the knight. He's yeah, maybe it, and now the queen you will come to f3 in some positions. Time, but the queen's off, at least I don't worry about getting checked until I flag. Right. So I would have traded the queens in that. Uh oh. I thought MVO might have played h5 there to try to go queen g6, but he didn't. He might, he might be at some point. I mean, Bornix. Oh, wow. Wow, Maxime is not afraid. But he might, maybe he should have been. Queen d3 of queen g4. That was Dude, the this idea. is nuts. But I think white's, white's safe. I think, I think white's, white's totally, totally safe. safe. And here comes queen g6 at some point. What a game by Maxime here. Yeah, no more checks. Watch out. Queen h2, the king was safe on g6. That was that was impressive stuff. And like you said, that's what MVL style does similar to Nakamura, right? He's not afraid of those concrete right. lines where he goes for it. Yep. Uh, all, what I can take away from there... Besides that, it was a nice game, and he deserves that win. Is Bornick's too slow in the middle of the game? He's, wow. He's down way too much time. I mean, he's still winning the match, but I'm seeing, like, if MBL converts like he just did, there's going to be a bad trend. Okay. Well, a one-game lead for Bortnik still. There's a pawn for MBL. The a pawn's a pawn, there. and I think he likes it. There should be seven... Just nice getting some trades. In. He's up on time. Queen f6. You can trade and play queen f6 or queen oh, f6 first. Yeah, is, Maxime this looks. This is a really, really good end game. Could this be the second game in a row that goes well that we've been waiting for oh, for Maxime to find up, some flow? Up time again. It's going to kick the net out with a6 and then. Yeah. And then. Uh, Ooh. What the heck is no? It's just a horrible. Now Maxime just blunders. What that's a horrible the worst move. blunder C6. because that's that's the best pawn. That that's the worst blunder you could. That pawn. was literally the worst. It was almost losing a piece would have been better. <laughs> that was the that was the worst. And now all of a sudden, Bornick, he's oh my pawn. gosh! You can tell Maxime just doesn't look, have look his mojo right now. Everybody now he's like MBL just gave me a new new lease on life. I'm gonna play rookie five and bring my king in. I'm gonna play c4. I'm gonna king walk down the a file. King c3, king b4, and, and this is going to be a very, very unnecessary loss for MVL. Yep. Hor horrific. There's no resistance Rook here. Rook c5 even there yeah. worked, worked already, but yeah. he'll find it the next time around. Rook no, b5, this is, Rook c5. This is, this is just, just it's over. Bad. It was an yeah. uncharacteristic blunder. Like, that that didn't, you know, it wasn't a yeah. normal pattern to, to, like, somehow mistake. Bordnick made that about as hard on himself as he could, but he's still going to be able to pre-move his way to a yep. victory in seven, seven seconds. Seven seconds, and we all resigns. Yeah. 
Wow, well, again, right when we thought we were seeing a second good game for Maxime, he plays, I mean, up a pawn for nothing. He plays C6, and, you know, I guess from a confidence perspective going into the second half, Eric, let's play the let's play the chess coach psychology, right? I mean, if you're MVL and you're in MVL's corner, you're like, look, dude, you're playing well. Just stop the blunders. Relax a little bit, right? I mean, um, and, and what's your what what's your advice? Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's clear from both players what they need to do. Um, Bortnik yep. needs to play faster. He maximizes his chance of being asked to play faster. And right. MBL has to convert. He has to convert these. He has to be a bit more decisive there. And yeah, avoid some of those blunders. Some some unforced errors. Some days well, the pure player will win. Some days the stronger player. I mean, in bullet, it's not going to be like, you know, just pure, pure chess. So right. Um, right now, that's why it's very even. But um, you are seeing Bornick convert his opportunities just yeah. every time. Whereas, whereas, yeah, Maxime may be better, we may like, but he's he's missing a lot more of the opportunities. Agreed. Stick with us, everybody. We will have a half an hour of chess right after this, a very, very quick break, regardless of the results here. And there, uh, we'll see. Yeah. This is not what good for Maxime. Look at the compensation that Bortnick finds here with the centralized knight. Rook b4. Get some trades in. Queen e3. You oh. got to play for f4 at some point. Yeah, I mean, there's a chance of. I'd play b5. Oh, see now black plays b5, and now this is, this is a long term. Yeah, issue. now this is. Uh... Although it's not entirely clear how Bornick, Bornick again is down so much time. Can yeah, MBL again, survive? Rook, rook there. No. Nope. Very nice. Get the queens Very off nice. the board. Let the pawns do their yeah. thing. Rook d1. Now, now. Yep. It's gonna be over. Yep. Because you can't Just even sacrifice properly, right? Super impressive play the first half here by Ale Alexander Bortnik. He has a three-game lead, and I am, again, I'm I'm not surprised again that I picked the stronger player, but I am surprised that Bortnik is making me look like a fool. He already beat Grishuk, and he may be on his way to beating MVL. Don't go anywhere, anybody. When we return, the last half an hour that is the Bullet Chess Championship on this Saturday uh, when we get right back. And we are back right there to that subscription. Thank you so much. And uh, we have Maxime Vache Le Grave versus Alexander Bortnik. And it has been Bortnik, Bortnik strong, Bortnik all day right now. I mean, Maxime, what do you got to do to find it here if you're if you're in this quarter, Eric? Your advice. Fin like, don't let it get to those like time scrambles. But it's really just the conversion. What, what we talked about right. right before the break. Um, I'd like to see Maxime play a little more aggressively in the opening. I, I think the opening is something that if Maxime was playing like Hikaru or other guys, they're all pretty even. But Maxime's like a you know twenty hundred player. I think he can maximize more in the openings. Uh, I think I would I would be a little more aggressive and change things up since he is behind. That was actually another series of gifted subs from the from the man himself, Kitty Kitty Hiss Hiss. So thank you so much there. Sorry for uh, missing that, but appreciate it. Thanks, Kitty. All right. We're back at it, nine to six, a three-game lead for the underdog. Although at some point we got to stop calling him that. And like yeah, you said, I mean, after all, by chess.com ratings, he is the favorite. That's right. That's right. You're right. All right. <laughs> well, um, Maxime is. Uh, well, he's good. He's got an okay position here as black. So he's got f6 coming. That bishop ran out of squares. Uh oh. Uh oh. That is very <laughs> clever, and that's just winning the game. Yeah, you, you, you but watch, two's... watch Bortnik. Okay, he's down on time, and Maxime's thinking if I play, if I take on G4, White will play F5 and sack two pawns to get the bishop out. Yeah. But Bortnik's going to be very resistant here. A queen takes F5 is nice. Look at the patience by Maxime. Right, he's not. He only wants to win the piece back. Yep. After depriving White of counterplay. Very very nice creative defense. Um, from and Maxime now, there. now there's nothing. Queen e4 is coming. The f file, the rook comes to f3, mm -hmm. or worse. Bishop Very good game four. right here by Maxime right now. He trades because e3 falls in a simple way. Okay, he's going to switch. Rook takes a. Oop, nope. Bornick doesn't allow it. Yeah. But, but he's um, up on time and completely winning. So this should be a Maxime win. If you're in the corner of MVL, you're hoping for the yeah, comeback trade. Yeah, what about the I thought Maxime played this funny, though. He could have just won the A-pawn. Yeah, he, he, he hasn't been sharp. I mean, it was unnecessary to, to yep. have two connected pass pawns. Unnecessary. That's that's how I would describe it. Okay, just in time gets the rooks off the board, maybe. 
This is. I don't know. He's up on okay. time. Bishop C5. Bishop C5. Yeah. No, no, that's good. But that was okay. like, yeah. Uh, Bornick has not adjusted, Danny. He's still way too slow in the middle game. Okay, he was losing a piece there, so he's probably losing no matter what. But. Yep. How, how are you down so much time? Gets MVL, who's not the fast, like he's a very fast player, but not like the definition of fast. MVL is playing, 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 playing at a good pace, but not like pre moving and not like. Doing enjoy that. Sorry yeah. for that. I I need an adjustment. I need the. I need the. I stop. I've, I've been sitting that. here for five and a half hours. I'm about. Yeah. I'm about a pizza and a and, a, and an adjustment away from a, got, from a comatose nap. <laughs> I got my uh, Red Bull. I need some stretching too. Though. I'm just gonna walk out. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been an amazing day, full of fun. For some of you, if you've been here all day, thank you so much for your support, tuning in and watching chess here on Twitch and Chess.com TV. Um, but all right, I believe we're going to be in for a nail batter, so that's why I was refreshing myself. Because we got to keep the energy high, people. It's going to be a close one. Yeah, I mean, I think I think now we're at a 30-minute stage, so you don't really want to be down more than three. Yep. But within that, you're 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 okay. And so okay, it's but, pretty I mean, important for MBL. Got the bishop here, up a pawn. Maxime seems to be He's recovering. He's up ten sec. Like like Bortnik, super slow. I'm not used Super to this. Slow. I think that's the right decision. Queen e5 and take a5. Yeah, just simplify out the game. Queen c4 check. Queen e2. Queen b5. No. Yeah, queen, queen b5. Five, queen, e1. Nice. queen b5. Queen e1. Queen f1. Then put the queen behind. Ah, uh, yeah. So he decides to defend f2 this way. Yeah. yeah. That also works. You're just worried about the lateral that, checks. Yeah. But your king. Queen c2. I him. thought was maybe better. Queen takes g2. It's a good thing white does. Black doesn't have an h pawn. But this is now getting unclear. <laughs> yep. So it's like Queen D4. Still up on time the... though. Maxime is. When are we gonna see that that speed? Oh, Queen King eight, King F4. We talked Very about this nice. all the time. Was Queen D6. Queen... Oh, but then King H5. Oh, I thought he had King H5. Yeah. I think he did. But he's worried about getting mated now, or something. Now this is now this should be simple enough. A nice. Nice square on d4 covers everything, right? Yeah. F2 centralized C queen, such an irritating, irritating thing. Yeah, I mean, <gasps> he goes for this last minute stalemate trick. That was so nasty. That was that's like stuff I, I really am impressed. I envy by. people that can come up I with that so fast. <laughs> it's just amazing. I'm always on the wrong side of stalemates. <laughs> right. Not because I give up. I just don't like think of it. I don't know. It's like right. Yeah. Yep. That, that was that was that was nasty. If White had taken the queen, everybody would have been a draw. But all right, so Maxime gets two wins in a row. We've been waiting. Ooh, uh, okay, that was a little weird. Um, but all right, so now you're in Bortnik's quarter corner. How do you, how do you tell him to stop the slow. bleeding? I mean, this is this is just just, playing too slow. Yeah, he's down ten seconds every game. That is huge. If you had to put yep. like a you know a value to that, it would be. Sometimes that's a piece, sometimes that's a pawn, but it's worth worth a lot. Okay, Maxime has a good position here. He'll probably castle long after uh, dealing with the G pawn. Maybe rook G8. Well, Does he have to? Ooh, wait. No, actually, it's worse I, than I, I thought. pressure here. I, I think, yeah. think Bornig actually has a good position, and he's only down five seconds. Okay. Got pressure. Oh, no, no. MBL, knight G4 threatening, knight F2. Going to get sharp. Queen E3 doesn't work because of the pin on the E file. Yeah. Um, if MBL can castle, though, yeah, he's going to do that and just escape. Barely, though. Barely, and, and, but and now the knight's coming to the six, one up on the, the coming to six, and all of a sudden, black's good, Danny. Rook F8. Queen Ooh, takes queen G5 uh, is checked, though. He missed this, that. These are problems. No, this is this is a turnaround. H4, pawn takes... Uh, knight E3. Uh, you don't even have queen E6 because the knight's on it. Get, this is getting very sloppy for Bortnik. This is one of the first examples... Ooh, queen takes G3! Yeah. And the fork emote lives! That is a quick... Conversion by MVL. And that's the first time Maxime has won three games in a row in either match today, if you're just joining us. The quarterfinals never saw Maxime win that many in a row. So he's he's finding his form, it seems, in the in yep. the last half an hour of everything. And that was a rare case of Bornick with a decent opening, playing a little faster, and then just losing it, you know, not not yep. making something of that. So very, very positive signs for for Bornick, uh, as long Miller. as he has a knight, doesn't resign, takes Larry Christensen's advice. But it's not going to help the fact that mate is coming. Tommy Winter says, I'm usually here. on the Chess Pro channel. I'm not used to seeing all this good chess. 
all the good chat? <laughs> good chess. Oh, good chess. Okay. I'm not used to seeing that. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, I mean, classic, classic Tommy. Yeah. Tommy, you're doing great, buddy. Living up to your name. All right. I'm just not noticing a sense of urgency in, in, in Bortnik's play. He had a very, yeah. very important three game lead. And, um, it's completely I mean, the one thing is, if he can get Danny into an even position going into an end game or time scramble, he's going to win those time yeah, scrambles. He, I think so. Even if their yep. even positions are slightly worse, I think yep. he's got a big edge there. That's the only, that's the main part. Stalemating, Trey. Yeah. Free moves, but oh no! I mean, against Krishik, it was it. All, it was all day. It was just swindles like galore. I'm just he's, he's on the back. But he's down here. again, down almost ten seconds on the clock. MVL building that time advantage. What, what are you thinking about? Make the, the, this stalling is very strange to me, Danny. Yeah, Th that that last sequence, even spending because well, now now he's worse and down on the clock. And yeah, well, down in exchange and bishop a three. Mm -hmm. And you're losing. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. I, Equalizing uh, tactic, but it looks like Maxime saw it right coming. <gasps> oh, wait. What's he got? Beautiful. That is beautiful. Queen d3? Yes, queen d3. Oh queen my d3. gosh. But you Ridiculous. know what? Then you can play king f3. But I don't think you can escape. He's going to walk out. Maxime's that trying is... to calculate to see if he can right now. Maxime's got to play faster, Danny. Because yeah, that was Black a bad decision. thinking about. Now Bordnick's going to play for the win. No, he doesn't. He takes the draw. You okay, I thought Bordnick might go for the win because of the time. Yeah, yeah. Wowzers, wowzers. That okay, well, we have a deadlocked game here. Oh, it's deadlocked match, excuse me. Nine and a half games apiece. We're seeing the bullet openings come out. I played this against them yesterday. At this exact same position as Black. Against the Fortnite. Shout out to Photo Chess. Thank you, lady. That's Maria. If you haven't checked out Photo Chess's channel, you should. Twitch.tv slash Photo Chess. Uh, Maria Emrilia Nova, uh, known as Miss Loba Loba. Thank you for the subs there. D6. Doing it. If you can trade off pieces, you're up the exchange. But in the middle of the game, white has compensation. King in the center, pawn in peace. Um, yeah. It's very trendy London. G3, bishop c7. Okay. It feels really awkward for Bordnick, like that C file. Yeah, about to get. Nasty. I don't think he has compensation. Queen takes, queen takes. G3. Pawn. Okay, but d5 is falling, I guess. Yeah, knight f6, queen e5. Or queen, oh, threatening. Oh, nice move. You can't play e6 because queen takes everybody. Now knight takes d5. Can you do it? Yeah, he does it. Well, this looks really, really dangerous for MVL all of a sudden. Yeah, suddenly it's wild. This is a horrible pawn structure. Oh, get me out of here. Get yeah, me out of here. run. Run, Forrest. Maybe, maybe he's going to play like A3. Look how useful this knight is on A6. It it's is. so it weird. Is. And there we go. Knight D5 check. And with the queens on the board, yeah, Bornick down so six seconds. Then he's down five seconds, but, but he's coming. He's going to start. Watch these three moves. Then. Oh, he gave queen b4, though. Queen, queen takes d4, threatens rook, takes c4. Ah, oh, this. He goes for this it. Is this is nice. Oh, my gosh. Maxime turned this around. And Bordigal yeah. is. What a defense there by MVL. Ignoring the piece hanging. Great stuff. Ridiculous. But, but like, how do you sacrifice an exchange? The idea of doing that is to have an easier to play position, practical right. chances. Right. Down on time. And, and he takes <laughs> way too much time in the process. I oh, agree. I agree. Like, okay, yeah. He... And that's where you get yourself stuck. Your opponent gets to pre move trick you like that because you created your own grave, right? You dug your own grave with that kind of 10 second time advantage, like Eric is saying. So, you yeah. Sacrifice, you play quickly, let them figure out how to consolidate. The last four decisive games have gone MVL's way if you're just joining us. When we started this back half, he was down nine to six. He's now up ten and a half, nine and a half. Wowzers. This if is the wins, opening he... that I'm referring to where you can get caught. Maybe not. I thought he was kept catching him, but Bishop E4 is very resourceful. C4. If he wins, we might get Maxime to C4. shave on camera. 
He owes me. He Did owes he say me shave on camera? He owes me a shaving. Yeah, yeah. I offered for him to shave me. He wasn't into it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can relate. <laughs> no, no, no. If, you know, if you needed a shave and no one was willing to do it, Danny, you call us up. Hey, I, you know what? I, that's why we love each other, because you would shave me if I needed I, you to. That's, have, that's yeah. love. Yeah. That's love. <laughs> there you go. All right, well, Maxime is down the exchange here. Looks like Bortnick's having his recovery game. Uh, he's going to take a seven. He's not Although, down on yeah. time, which my eyes are not used to. But Maxime is actually, you know, this is not going to be an easy nut to crack, right? Um, if he I, puts the bishop on e4. White, I think the reason it's easier is because white doesn't have, like, a strong bishop on b3 or something. It's, it's going okay. to be point, yep. exchange. So you double on the second rank. I play king g3. Yeah, but it's like easier to play, and that's why White's falling behind on the clock. You don't have a good right. bishop. It's not like you you don't have that like. This is yeah. like the bishop on b five. Okay, it's it's not gonna be. He'll fun. play king g two, but you're right. Yeah. It's just Black's gonna win on time. To play. If Black had to like try to force a conversion, that might be harder. But you're gonna win on time. And yep. now now, yeah, now everything's fixed. You see, Maxime unable to pre move here. Although, maybe he's playing faster than we think. He suddenly has a two-bar connection, so that might be contributing to some of this disconnect uh, that we're having here by Maxime. I'm anticipating that that's an issue. Yep. And now, uh, with so little time. Yeah. No? Well, now we're... That's the first win for Bornick in, like, you know, 15, 20 minutes, right? Yep. He's gone, he's gone in a bit of a drought. Um, that was that was an opening that looked like it was going well for White and Bortnick, uh, yeah, just uh, opened things Maxime up. Maxime playing from the hotel in the Bundesliga after him and Levon Aronian helped lead their team to a victory, but unfortunately he's had he's had spotty Wi-Fi, so that is part of the rules. The players are responsible for securing their own connection and the stability of that. Um, but uh, okay, it's a tied match at this point. No excuses, just results. Yeah. And that's what you I'll want to hear. The resub on my channel that you just mentioned. Thank you. Yeah, what'd you do? I forgot to call it out, so I'm just trying to say it now. Nice. Go for it. <laughs> um, this is looking fun for black. If the king is in the center voluntarily, Yeah. you put your king on b8, maybe rook on the e-file. Look for tactics on g4. H5 maybe even now. Cause but actually, actually, White's playing very relaxed, all things considered. Yeah. And, and the king survives there. That's the king in the center that uh, is going to help in the end game. Impressive. The issue with having your king in the center is, yeah, definitely going to be more in the middle game and you're worried about blunders. But if we get to the end game, look for that. Look for that king on F2. Four, knight c4. Knight c4. Oh. Oh, he just blundered a piece. Bornick, queen of Bornick's six. downtime, but he blundered a piece. Rook g8. Okay, king e2. You know what? This is very safe. The knight on d4 is a, a monster. Yeah, it's a beast. But, so, so you defend that and you play b5. Uh, you get a chance to play b5. He's going to win the f3 pawn, though. Maxime is... Okay, I, I wouldn't have... Maxime is coming up with some good counterplay. Yep, here Absolutely. comes the c file. Trades. Doesn't want to kick the queens off the board. Ah... Uh, I think that's going to be enough. That's got to be enough to to win this now for Bordnick. Yeah, and that's uh, where we're we're seeing the the favors. How do you, how do you win here. this? How do you win this cleanly? Can you put the knight on a square that guards the e pawn and get back in time? Maybe you can't. Maybe you I'm can wrong. Just give up the knight, and that's that's the point. Ah, there you go. Check. That that was well played. That was it. Yeah. Only five seconds though. We'll see if Max. But the problem is the pre moves Bordnick is Bordnick capable of doing. Is... Bornick is a is a is a premium. Yeah, this is easy money. He's gonna make this look like a walk in the park. He's gonna. It's actually very this. instructive for those of you trying to get better yes. at bullet. You see that White just put the queen on b1, so you avoid all tactics. You avoid, and now White can just pre-move it out. So, if you're wondering how to get better at bullet, put yourself in a position where you can out pre-move your opponent. And see, uh, this keeps happening. What what, what just happened? This, this has happened again. He just randomly stalls. What in the this is like what? But there's no way to explain it unless I, – I don't know. Unless that, he has some time issues. I agree, but his connection – That, that, that happened the, in the early part of the match three or four times. And, and, and we thought it was maybe like a pre-move pre break or something. But it didn't, it didn't really buy it. 
I didn't yeah. buy it. I, I I don't know. It's something that's I'll super ask. weird. Because uh, now now <laughs> that was a, not a lecture on how to checkmate. I had to flag up a queen. I'm gonna I'm gonna use our ping right now and try to ping him and see what's going on. Fornick has a good position here. Yeah, and he's got a great connection. And he hasn't had more than four bars. It's very weird, but that's Watch Rook takes C6. Rook takes C6. C6 is a threat, followed by Bishop A6. Mm -hmm. Knight F4. Maxim's going for the attack. Knight F4. Still poking around. Bishop E8, maybe. Maximize. Oh, I like that. Uh, he doesn't go for it, but I oh, like that. It looks, it looks nice. Here comes Pawn D5. Then try to maybe put the Knight on E6 if you can. He's going to double on the C file. But E3. No. Ooh, now, 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 yeah, that was a huge now, now mistake by MBL. Now you're in trouble. And Bishop, Bishop takes D4. takes D4. It's all good. It looks wow, like what a huge a lot blunder by MBL again. Yeah, I mean, he's up in exchange, but tons of compensation on dark squares. Bishop E5 is coming. Yeah. White will be lucky Bishop to give the exchange five. back to avoid mate. Oh, look at that very nice move. Getting the queens off the board, saving the day for MVL. He's, uh, I don't think he saved Danny. I think he's now just... Well, he saved mate, it? I guess. Oh, yeah, he saved the mate. I thought he could have sacrificed the exchange, but yeah, this is... But okay, he's he's still up on time, so Bortnik is... Yeah, the still problem is the knight, the knight is really harassing uh, Maxi. Yep. It, it's, it's, it's poking around. Look at the primus. Here's the jet. Maxime <laughs> going to try to do it. Here come the engines. But, but uh, up. the knight's catching up on time. Yeah, and the knight is just such a monster and bullet. It just because you it's so yeah, unpredictable. Pass pawn on the C file. Take on B five. That's good. Whoa. That was excellent. Slightly unexpected. Bortnik seems to have messed that one up. He's pre preparing a mate though. Oh, and he gets it just in time. Clutch. Wow, clutch. Bortnik strong. <laughs> Bortnik strong. Wow, that was nuts. I, I'm i on the edge. Uh, ten minutes now, Bortnik has a one-game lead. Ten minutes means we think probably have about up. That, that game in Miel was up on time. He could have kept the rook and gave some spite checks. And yep. was, the problem is, without any pieces, Bortnik can actually pre-move. And if he yep. kept the rook on, I think I think he had a chance. That, yep. I, I think he messed that up. Oh, yeah. Amazing scramble scroll. Down to ten minutes. Every little scroll. mistake here is gonna gonna count a lot more. The scramble skills are amazing. Also a tongue twister, apparently. Um, Bortnik just completely winning this next game. Maxime seems to be on a bit of a tilt himself right now. Oh wait, he's got the two bishops. I guess I, it's not completely winning, but it does seem very dangerous for Black with the, with the open king. Yeah, white okay. has a lot of pawns, and uh, this should be yeah. good. Although the queen trade, the, the problem with the queen trade, the good thing is you get rooks off. Is sometimes the bishops can blockade everything. Um, if you if you push it properly, it can be a little annoying. Well, if yep. you give up a pawn, many many to push. Push them, baby. <laughs> Don't Shout out to C4. Tommy for that gift itself. Appreciate it. Now you um, play C four, C five, D six. Push them, baby. Here they go. Uh oh. Maxime also has a lot of experience in the SCC format where the time is ticking, right? That clock right there. Watch it. Um, that uh, Maxime understands that uh, not a lot of reason to take off more game clock when you're just going to lose. Mm -hmm. Give yourself another opportunity. But he's down two games, dude. He's got enough time, but this is this is a game that wins. It's, it's getting tough. Yeah, this is this is Can becoming. I have five. Knight f4. Bishop g5 is coming if you don't touch it. Okay, that's a that works actually. Oops, oops. Takes a five. Uh, that's bishop a g5. very very still very. Still has a crazy weird attack with the bishop pair. Although no, ball. just knight d5. Yeah, this is yes. Ugh. Bornick is, is consolidating here, but he's gonna have yep. to play faster. If he wants to secure this match, just take some time. Take some. Well, yeah. Well. well I mean, make up the time still, here. Yeah, it's still because within this, range. This, the end, game, this end game is going to be very unpleasant for MVL. I don't because even understand what's happening. Oh, he's just, just blundering. He's just blundering. He's going to be down three games. And MVL must be tilting because this is all of a yeah. sudden. 
He's making some. You don't even have a, a trick on the back rank here. No, no, no. This is going to be a three-game lead for Bornick, and it's a must-win now. Yep. He should resign. Why is MVL playing on? Yeah, he really should. We're officially in mathematical territory where Maxine... Didn't you just say he was uh, experienced in SEC? Because this doesn't make any sense. No, I, I agree. <laughs> I, I think that he's, now, he's on he's on tilt, he's I think, more emotionally. more lost than normal, and he's actually down on time. Oh, no, he's not down on time, but he's more lost than normal. Um, Thank you to Chess Bay and Tagbon for the gifted subs. Really appreciate it. He's trying to fight here. I don't understand it. Oh, wait, I guess the time. No, but... Okay, but <laughs> I, I it's got to be a mate here. Yep, I think there it is. has proven his, his capabilities. Well, that backfired if you're MBL. You just lost a whole other 30 seconds on the clock. It's it's officially, I think, mathematically must-win territory now. You've got to start yep. the comeback here or never. I mean, if I have a list, like, Bornick's one of the top 10-second finishers in the world, and so and MBL... Look at this. And Maxime is just on full tilt. Can't play those on. Crazy stuff. Full tilt? Full tilt. <laughs> Thank you to the last sub there. Full tilt. Maxime's gone full tilt. No, no, this, is, this is this is real tilt. This is no no Maxime Maxime's tilted. This is game over. Oh man. It's over. Bordnick oh, will man. be punching his ticket. I mean, okay, it's not over, 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 over. No, it's over, over, over. Over, over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over, a... Wait, Red Rover? <laughs> wait, are you there, over? <laughs> We're going to call Bring over. Bring Bortnick uh, on over to the finals. Oh, my gosh. This has been Bortnick's week. If we got to get a Bortnick strong emote. I mean, for, for, the, for, the, for tomorrow, if we can. I mean, I, I, this kid is just... It's like, at this point, should I pick him over Hikaru? I mean, I've been picking against him, no, and he keeps can't, winning. Can't pick against Hikaru. I, I mean, obviously, right? I mean, no, I'm dumb, I, I but think, I'm not I stupid. I think Bortnick is, uh, he's, he's really good, but he's also very beatable. Um, yeah. You know, he's not, he's, he, we've seen from even this match, like, um, when he wins, I mean, you can only when, when, credit when the guy was because up. he maximizes. He's not the strongest player, and he's not the yeah. fastest in the middle he game. He just but... takes his opportunities, yeah. like you said. Yeah. He's an opportunist. Yeah. Yeah. When Maxime uh, was up ten and a half, nine and a half, I, I, I was ready to say, okay, this is where the stronger player is finally recovered, showing his class. But instead, Bortnick. Um, fifth game here. Fifth game here, yep. Daniel. It. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're up 13 seconds here. This has happened. I mean, if, I, maybe I'm, I, I don't know. He's just letting his time tick here to make yeah. sure that the comeback is not possible. And he's winning anyway, but he's yeah. Winning anyways. Well, the, the match really escaped, like, all of a sudden. MVL won four games in a row without a loss. And then Bortnick won, like, he hasn't won since, like, that was a weird momentum switch. Yeah, it really was. This this whole like, match was, it was it a lot of swinging. Like, yeah. A lot of swinging back and forth. Well, Bortnick, Bortnick, like, the qualifier yesterday was very, very stacked. Incredible, uh, yeah. Wow. And going through the qualifiers. Are... I don't even think that was a mouse slip. Might just be auto, auto tilt, auto mm -hmm. tilt, autopilot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, the uh, impressive, impressive performance by Borden continues on. And, yeah, I guess Jason Sunshine is right. I underestimated what it meant for him to be so sharp to have gone through all the qualifiers to be here while MBL was bu busy helping his team win the Bundesliga, which is great. I mean, clearly Bortnick is just, he's just fresher, right? You can feel how sharp he is right now in these bullet moments, right? Because even when he, when he went on tilt, he was able to recover. Yeah, so. no, for sure. I mean... MBL cannot be happy with his performance this this match, even if he's not in in the best like he's not going to be in the best shape because he wasn't playing a ton of bullet. But like, yep, messing up some of the positions, some of the blunders. Bornick gave him opportunities. Bornick was really slow, like seventy five percent of this match. Yep, in the middle of the game. So it's all about just milking that. And shout uh, out to NJ Greg there. 
But you know what's funny, Eric, is so we said that the chat earlier was 82% that Bordink was going to beat MVL, and they were right. Hey, we, we, but they, yeah. And they, they try to take credit now, but they were also only 18% that Bordnik would hold on and win the qualifier, which he did. The round robin qualifier. So, I mean, you win some, you lose some, I guess. They were eight, they were, it, no, no, but the percentage is exact. It was 18% yeah. that Bordnik would hold on to be 100%, and they were 82% he would win this. So, like, I guess... 100% of Bortnik equals a right Twitch chat, which means let's let's drop the mic and get out of here because the world's about to end. You know, we got Twitch Armageddon on the way. Spending a lot of time these days, you know, there's a lot of like, you know, I can say that the Twitch chat is a lot more educated about this than before. Wait, what just happened? 20 gifted subs from Kitty Kitty. Kitty Kitty. Kitty Kitty, boom, boom. And boom goes the dynamite. We love you. Thank you so much. Bortnik. Deliver oh he doesn't deliver mate in time. I thought that would be it, but that's a little likely... depressing for MVL to be playing with only King, you know, even yep. if he's up twenty seconds. No, people are much more educated now about some of these things because there's more and more events being held. Like you guys are doing SEC, there's bullet events being held all, all the time, blitz, and the top players are playing frequently online, late night sessions. So people actually like have a better idea of some of the good players who may not have yep. actually played in some of the events yet, but like they're playing all the time online. Right. There's, there's more ways to, to prove your, your worth. And uh, Twitch is uh, where, where you can find out. Well, we will have a championship matchup of Hikaru Nakamura versus Oleksandr Bortnik. Uh, one person was seeded into this event as the one seed overall. One person played in every single event this week. He played Wednesday. He played Thursday. He, he didn't get in until he qualified on Friday. And by the way, he only got in on Friday because we gave him the wild card spot because yes. of his hard work, and uh, apparently, apparently he was worth it. So, yeah. No, he's 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 maximizing that wild card, unlike some people. <laughs> hey, dude, it's all right, man. Just let it go. Let it go. It's all right. You'll have another chance. Hey, and I told you to, and you, to Eric's credit, he wouldn't say this, but I'll say it. Eric actually thought everybody was required to to stream. He had gone full Arena Kings in his head, yeah. and I told, and I left him a message. I was like, "Dude, don't stream. Like, play, yeah. focus." And and he streamed, and it. I I think I think it's a little bit a little bit unfair there, but all right, who knows? We're gonna do this event next year. We're gonna do more, so we'll, we'll. That's right. Anything can I'll happen. Another, I'll get another shot, hopefully. Maxime is playing well this last game here, or. Sort of. He might mate on H7. That would be a good way to end it. Nope. Bordink doesn't allow the mate. You can't trick this guy. Oh, Rook takes C5 was also... Po oh, no, then Rook E5. Amazing stuff here. Those gifted subs keep coming in from Kitty. Thank you so much. Um, Can you get a... Ooh. <laughs> that was a fun way to get a little tactic, get a queen on the board, rook h3, knight h5. Maxime looks like he will bring the match to a close with a win. I'm not sure whether we will have mate, interviews with mate. the players after this. Uh, it wasn't mate. Was that mate? Oop. Oh, was a check. I thing. thought he was going to bring it to a close with a win. Looks like he should. But he has, okay, and he does. And that will be your final score, ladies and gentlemen. 16 and a half, 12 and a half. Alexander Bortnik has qualified his way into the Bullet Chess Championship final. He will have the reward of facing Hikaru Nakamura, right? Um, and uh, we're very excited for that. If you're just getting here, give us a follow before you go anywhere else because we will be live again tomorrow. First, we have the consolation match, which that means we have MVL versus Aronian tomorrow. They're actually playing from the same venue. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, should be fun. So... We've got a consolation match tomorrow between Aronian and MVL, and then we have the championship going down with Hikaru Nakamura and Bortnik. I, I can't wait. Uh, it's going to be a new and interesting format. Let's remind everybody one more time why it's going to be such a unique experience tomorrow. We have a, a set system that has uh, never, never been used before in any organized chess tournament that we're aware of, which is that a winning a game counts as a point, and a point counts... Uh, toward your goal of winning a set. Yes, it's tennis. Uh, so you win a game to get a point, six points in a set, but you have to win a set by two points. Uh, the consolation match in the morning will be a best of three series. The championship will be a best of five, just like a major Grand Slam tennis event. 
And uh, I think there's a lot of pros potentially to this system, especially for these uh, really, really epic online battles where people can go on runs. And um, and we'll see. Uh, Eric approved, and he's here. He's the chess bra king. So, right, guys, listen think, to him. I Make think sure it's you good. I mean, from the spectator's perspective, I think yep. I think that's – and I, I'm always trying to push for that because, you know, everyone is – trying to grow the game and i think i think that that's that's going to be generally a positive like i don't yep. see it down like yeah you can apply that to some of these matches and it's going to favor certain players it's it, it is true and but people have something to play for like when you're down 10 games that's pretty difficult but if you yep. can restart a set i mean you, you do see it in tennis where people do lose a set 6-0 yep. and actually end up winning winning the match I mean, you've seen you've seen champions come yeah. back you know you yeah. better has been down two sets to nil and come back in one right i yeah. mean it, it happens and it'll be an interesting thing to see how the players fare in that i think hikaru was right when he said it probably favors the underdog more than it does the mm -hmm. um the favorite right. and so it probably helps people in matches against someone like him and maybe it'll help bortnik yeah um all right, well, uh, on behalf of the full crew here at Chess.com, it has been a, uh, a fun show today. With us now, Grandmaster Robert Hess, thank you for being here. And, um, Eric, it's been great. It's just a joke. But uh, seriously, dude, oh, this has okay. been a lot of fun here in the semifinals. We will have Robert back with us tomorrow for the Consolation and Championship. To all of our mods, to all those working behind the scenes, to everyone who stuck around and watched all five and a half hours of this, you're just awesome. All of our gifted subs, I love everybody. I'm just, Eric, I love people right now. And you love me. Just say it on camera so everyone knows. I love you, Danny. Thanks, man. All right. On behalf of everyone here at Chess.com, stick with us. Enjoy the raid. We're sending it to the man, the legend, the manager of the gnomes. He'll also be in San Francisco. That's Hammer. Go raid Hammer with us. Raid, raid, raid. Peace out, everybody. We're out. We're out.